What's good guys? Welcome to Vahography. My name is Vahagen, your rock and roll photographer. And today, I'm going to review this little guy, the Fujifilm X100T, and tell you why this camera is a great buy even in 2020. Ever wanted a camera that you can virtually take anywhere, put in your pocket, and it still gives you killer results? I think the X100 series of cameras is your camera. So in this video, I'm going to go over the things I really like about this camera and some of the things I don't like about it. Why I picked the X100T? Well, in 2020, this is probably the perfect buy if you're going for something like this. 60 megapixels, it's got a crop sensor. It's got a fixed focal length of 35 millimeters. Uh, the lens is f2. And, but it's, it's really, really cool. The focus is snappy. The ISO, the low light capabilities in this camera are amazing for what it is. The size of this camera, as you can see, I have an XS Max right here, iPhone. And it's small, I mean, it's not as thin, but hey. Uh, it's not as sharp at f2, wide open. But once you stop it down to 2.8, you're ready to rock and roll. Low light capabilities on this camera are great. I've shot literally in the dark and it does a really good job. You just need a little bit of light and you can get the focus. It's got a Q button where you press and you can just change settings on the fly without digging into the menus too much. The menu system is okay. It's not the easiest, it's not the hardest to figure out. The back LCD is a three inch LCD. Pretty good, pretty good quality. It's got an EVF and an OVF. I really like the dials on top. Kind of like old school feel of cameras, you know? It's just a joy to shoot. You have fun with this thing. It's really not a fast, amazing performer. It's really meant to just chill and enjoy photography. You know, Fujifilm is famous for their colors. The colors are amazing and they're filmed back in the day. And right on camera, you can change film types. Battery life is an issue with this camera if you only have one. But luckily, on the internet, they're cheap. You can pick up three or four of them, cost you about $40 or less. The dials are very solid. The build quality is also solid. It feels really good when you're changing f-stops or shutter speeds and it really feels really good in the hand, so you'll be really happy with that. Fujifilm to this date has five versions of this camera. The original X100 that came out in 12, 2012, the S which came out the year after that, and the T which came out in 2014. Then they have the X100F and then the new V. Why this is a great buy? Well, you can pick one up for five, six hundred dollars. Original price in this guy was twelve, thirteen hundred dollars when it was brand new. Personally, I wouldn't spend this much money on a new one, the X100V. I mean, you're limited. I mean, I personally, if I'm going to spend that much money on a camera, I would like to change my lenses and go with the more versatile focal length and have that option. But see, you're stuck with a 35 millimeter focal length with this camera, so I would not invest twelve to $1,300. So overall, I'm really happy with this camera. If you're on a budget and you want something better than your smartphone at a 35 millimeter focal length, buy one of these and get the T if you can find one that is because it's a great value. At $600 USD, you cannot go wrong. So go out there and shoot and remember always to have fun and rock and roll. See you in the next video. Thank you for watching. Oh yeah, and uh, be sure to like and subscribe to this channel and hit the little bell icon there and we're gonna do some really, really cool, interesting things and hope to see you soon in the next one. Rock and roll.